All right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Defenders of the Realm. Ooh, and do you like Defenders of the Realm? I do. Why? Because all of these minions are coming at you and you're trying to fight them off. Ooh, yeah? Let's take a look. Wow, that's a big board. It is a big board, and you yeah. have to have a big table for it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what is Defenders of the Realm all about? Well, it's a cooperative game, so you and your friends are trying to fight off these generals and minions, not letting them get to Monarch City. Oh, well now I know a lot of cooperative games, and it's typically there's one way to win and many to lose, is that right? Well, how do you win? You win by defeating all of the generals. Okay, and there are the big guys right there, right? This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, they're out there always. And how can you lose? You can lose if they get to Monarch City. Okay, which is or like if the one capital. of the generals get to Monarch City. Yeah. Or five of these minions get to Monarch City. Okay. If one color out of these minions are all out and you can't place them on here. Yep. And last but not least, the taints right here. If all of them are on the board, then we lose. Oh, wow. Well, is there a lot to keep a track of? Not really. Okay. It looks like it, but not so, huh? Because you have these cards that tell you what you can do or what they can do. Oh, cool. Well, tell me about it. Well, there's all of these different Playing cards. Okay, I'll take a look at those. So these are your character cards that you can choose from? Mm-hmm. If I was the Eagle Rider, I would have him. Cool. How you get started is for the people that are playing, they get their card and their person and you would put it in Monarch City. Let's say three people are playing. Great. So they would each have their own thing. Okay. And down at the bottom, in the corner, uh -huh. it says how many actions or life tokens you have. Nice. So the wizard has five. It also tells so their special skill they get. Five of these. Okay. So once the character's in Monarch City, then what else do you do? You get two hero cards. Okay. For each person. One of your quest cards. Two hero cards, one quest card. Okay, everybody gets those. Then what? And then you would get a darkness spreads card. The first three darkness spreads you get. Okay, flip that over. Let's take a look. All right. You would put two minions in the spot. So two green minions would go right here. Okay. All right, so now that we've got... All oh, those darkness spread and minions set out through the board for the setup. We are ready to begin. So there's your heroes in Monarch City. Mm -hmm. What do you do on your turn? Well, on the back of the rule book, it can show you all of the different things you can do for one turn. Oh, cool. So I'm the Rouge. I'm going to move for one action. And you just flip one over. So each action you take, you flip over your action tokens. That's handy. Okay. These two, I am going to, I have to roll the dice to fight them. Okay. So I'm going to get two dice. So you get a dice for each minion that's there. Nice. And on their um, card, yeah. it says how much it takes to hit. Okay. So these are four to hit. I got a five, so I killed one. Nice. And if I want to try and get him, I can spend another action on that was Another action, but only use one dice. And a six, so I killed him. I got nice. here and killed both of those in three actions. And you've still got some actions to go. And I've got three more. So I could move, or... You can discard some cards and fly, or ride horses. A lot of different actions you can take, huh? All of your actions are flipped over, and you've used them all. Okay. You draw two hero cards. Nice. So I would get two hero cards. Okay. And you do a darkness spreads card. So this is the darkness spreads card I got. I would put two red ones on the Pleasant Hill. 
and two green to Father Oak Forest. Nice. But you can only have three minions in one spot. Uh oh, so there's a fourth minion. So what happens? So it would get tainted. Huh. One of these taint crystals would come on, and there would be one minion would go onto each wow. pathway connecting to it. So darkness spreads can really spread these guys quick. All of a sudden, those guys overran every neighboring city mm -hmm. or area. Wow. That's tough. And then what else happens on your card? Down at the bottom, it's the general. So here's a green general. So he would move to Orc Valley if he was next to it. If he was at Eagle Peak Pass, mm -hmm. and we drew this card, he would move to Orc Valley with two of his minions. And you'd place two minions. So he would come here with two minions. So all of my friends have gathered on my spot and well they've ended their turn on the spot so we okay. can do war together. How you find the general is if you have green cards they give you extra dice to roll. Let's see. So I have two green cards and they have a dice at the bottom. Okay. So if I'm going against the general I can use these two dice. And how many hits does he take? Three. Just like his name. Well, it takes three to hit him, but how many times do you have to hit him? You have to hit him until he's down. Wow. So somebody could hit him twice, then you could roll and hit him twice. And so you roll your dice, and if he gets clear to the end, then he's defeated, right? Yes. All right. So if he gets defeated, then what do you do? If he gets defeated, I take his card, and it's worth some points at the end, I believe. Yep, nice. And now when you go into an area with green minions, you can just eliminate They're them without scared rolling. of me. So if I came in here, they go, ah, die. You don't even have to roll dice to get rid of them. Well, that's pretty nice. So everybody's got special powers. You've got special abilities. In and addition, you have a quest card. Oh, you have quest cards? Each it, person has one quest card. Yeah, so what do you do with the quest cards? It just gives you more special powers. If you complete the quest? If you complete the quest. Nice. So you can build up, go on quest while you're fighting off things, getting more special powers, getting defeating the generals. Wow. So what would you rate Defenders of the Realm? I would rate it a 4.5. Ooh, why? Because of all of your special powers, and it's fun to see if we'll ever win. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Brooke. Yep.